Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again with another AITA story for you. This one is, am I the ass cannot for telling my sister I hope she never has kids? I'm 22 female. I have three-year-old twin boys and I had a baby girl not even two days ago. My sister Jody is 34 and has been suffering with infertility for the past 10 years, as well as repeated miscarriages. I used to feel really bad for her and also a bit guilty as I got pregnant twice while being on contraception. It caused some tension between us when I was pregnant with my twins because she was so jealous and I was already feeling intense guilt. This time around, she wasn't as jealous, but I still felt it was unfair. As my husband and I have decided we are done having kids, I offered to be a surrogate for my sister as soon as I'm cleared after this baby, and she seemed like she was absolutely over the moon with that. In turn, she offered to watch the twins while I was in labor with my new baby, which was a relief on my part. I went into labor on Thursday morning, and Jody came over to watch the kids while my husband and I went to the hospital. She seemed like she was in a great mood, and promptly rushed us out the door. Everything seemed fine, until we got home this morning to find thousands worth of destruction to pretty much every baby item we've purchased. Even the crib mattress was torn apart. Everything was ruined. Jody tried to pin it on the twins, but they're three, and this level of destruction had to have been done by an adult. My twins can't even reach some of the stuff that was destroyed, and they certainly do not know how to open diaper packages and tear them apart. I know kids, especially toddlers, can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time, but I also know my children aren't capable of doing what happened. I told my sister to get the f*** out of my home and stay away from me and my family. I got really angry, and I said a lot of stuff I shouldn't have, but one of them was, I hope you never have a child, and if you do, then I'll tell it exactly what you've done to mine. I told her twice we can't afford to fix the damage she's caused, but since she still denies it, she won't cough up. I told her because of her, the baby doesn't even have a safe space to sleep. My parents caught wind of what I said, and even after I explained the situation, they still think I'm being an asshole for saying something so vile to my sister, after all she's done for us. Obviously, my judgment is clouded, so am I the asshole? Let's just entertain this notion for a second. If the three-year-old twins turned into, like, twin Chucky dolls and decided to destroy the house, wouldn't it still be OP's fault for not effectively taking care of the kids and watching them? Wouldn't she have been able to stop them before they destroyed everything? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. So, yes, um, it's definitely OP's sister here that had some kind of jealous rage and just went on a destructive fit while they're with twin three-year-old kids. That's dangerous. Not only is this destruction of property, which you should file a police report on, but this is also dangerous behavior, and this woman should not be around children ever. This is a severe mental health case that your sister desperately needs help with, or it's going to ruin her life. It's running her life right now, and it is actively ruining her life right now, but she needs to get some help. And I don't know if you can be the primer for that. I don't know that you filing a report on this is going to accomplish anything. You're not going to be able to convince her to to seek help herself because she won't even admit to what she's done here. Maybe someday she will. But she needs help. And she needs to not be around your kids ever again. Oh my God. Who knows what items she used to cause this destruction. But if she was running around with any kind of tool to to create destruction while your twin kids were there, then that had to be just absolutely terrifying for them. If they witnessed any of this, they're going to have trauma for this too. I mean, you hope that they don't remember it or hoping that they were asleep or in the other room or, you know, my gosh, this is terrifying. You're not the asshole at all for saying what you said. You had every right to say and do a lot more than you did. The bigger issue here is that your sister needs serious help and shouldn't be around kids, period. Yes, she had to see the baby stuff in there, but she was seeing that on the heels of finding out that you were going to be a surrogate for her. Like, that was a positive headspace for her. Imagine what she's like when she's in a negative headspace and gets hit with something like that and has to look at some baby or some baby items and has no other adult there to keep her in check. This is what she's going to do. So, that's scary. This is genuinely scary and sad and if this had happened in my home, I would definitely be filing a police report. I would definitely be reaching out to health services and, and child services and filing every kind of report that I could to make sure that this was well documented and that this person isn't allowed around children. I would be on absolute fire.